how, how do these people do it, man? Does anybody back check or fact check any of the trades that this empowered trading advanced pattern stuff does? Does anybody even look? Every one of these trades sucks. This is the Australian CAD. He's going to put a stop where you should put your sell limit. You go look at the chart. So you got 30 pip ATR, so your ATR, your stop loss will be 30 pips above the high, which is going to put you at... This Australian CAD. 48. Perfect place to put a sell limit. That's where we went. You've been stopped out, and the X to A to B to C, this is just complete garbage. Why do people do it? I don't even... I mean, you should see the people just praising this stuff. So you can reduce your risks. Uh, so you can reduce your risk on the table, and shoot for whatever targets that your trade plan allows. He's trade. He's selling into an uptrend. So that's the Aussie CAD. I'm actually in this big bat formation. So, we'll so he's in a big bat formation. My God, man! If you find security in that stupidity, see how this goes. Next pair I want to share with you is the Aussie dollar. Now the Aussie dollar is we we were we were bullish, okay. We we're putting in uh, we put in this high. We this is the daily chart. Didn't quite test the highs that we were expecting yet, uh, and then we've sort of broken structure here, putting in a potential rotation. And as we pull up, we're just pushing up to test this previous resistance level. We've also got this inside structure level here, uh, which could form could would should and no there's no i don't even know how many pips that is look at this look at this guy's chart are you kidding me head and shoulders formation oh yeah. this guy makes millions of dollars don't forget um you guys familiar with head and shoulders formation <laughs> you familiar with head and shoulders formation <laughs> yeah we are sometimes they don't work okay this would be the neckline here okay and we've actually violated that now that's a daily chart <laughs> just take a look here look at this the daily chart I mean my god man why are we going back this we have all this data on the screen what is this about is this guy this guy needs to take a look and ask himself why all the why all this history we're only gonna make money on the right side of that chart man come on so some of you guys I know who trade head and shoulders are looking at shorting this market already. Um, if you are looking for reasons to get you would have got killed involved at this level. If we drop down to the 60, you're going to see a couple of aggressive entry reasons down here. Anyone that trades when they say aggressive, what do they mean? 40 yards, advanced patterns. Uh, you're going to see that we've actually got X to A. A to B. How do you pull this? Where does this come from? And the thing is, is that if you spend any time learning advanced patterns, you've wasted so much time because, I mean, it's just such a subjective X to A to B to H. B to C and a CD completion uh, up here at, let me just bring on the Fibonacci retracement. Yeah, bring on that Fib. So we've actually got a Gartley completion up at 7662. But we don't. The market goes higher after that. So if you were to put a buy stop here on these two dojis and play the volatility play up, you would have made money because you can't just make money. You know, even a stop clock is right <laughs> once a day, twice if there's no AM and PM. And for anyone that uses Constellation, I think Constellation is showing a, a cipher formation in here somewhere. It wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad Constellation. Oh, can I name a star after myself? I'd cipher for me, but it does complete at the same area. So two two potential patterns. I gotta get this guy up. If you just speak English, we gotta clean up his accent. Uh, completing in the same price level, which makes this a, a decent high probability trading opportunity. Uh, I entered this a little bit higher. I think I got in at 76.63, 76.65. Uh, so I'm in this trade. High probability. I mean, these are all trigger words. You know, people love low risk, high probability, good ratios. It's in an uptrend. He's selling into this uptrend. As well. Stops above that 113 
inversion and targets down at the 382 at 7643 and 618 down at 7628 so there's my trade it's on the table um, well, hopefully we can hit some profits in that later in the room. I well, hope it's not a strategy. Room. So let's take a look at that. Um, I, I brought it up here. So he's selling. He's right here on the chart at this point. He's right. Um, let me go back to his uh, his video here. So let's do let's do a breakdown here. See see if these advanced patterns really do work. So he's right here on the chart. Let me see if I can track that spot. Um, so you can back to you can see if back to us these guys call, and we're right here on the chart. We have the sell off. He's right here. This is Tuesday. He did the video. So he's got his A to B, C to B, ba da ba ba ba. He's here, and he's going to put stops up here probably. So we actually go higher. He got in a good level. His ratios are good. But now, where is the real trade on here? Um, without any of that constellations and naming star after myself, this smack up into the round number, we retag the round number, we stop hunt all the bulls here, and we go up, up and away. And his um, targets were logical. They were at the previous uh, here. So had he sold here with a wide enough stop, he almost hit his target. But why can't these guys see that you're in an uptrend? Can I just show, show of hands? You're in an uptrend. So aren't you going to play all the top the, the the tops that become bottoms in an uptrend? So you're going to get in here on limits. Um, here you got trounced, but you have this top, you have this top that goes here. We break out here. See that wick? That's the entry. That's the trade. This what's this risk ratio? I risk this much to make this much. This is where all the money's at. There is no money in fantasy trading, advanced pattern. You're you're you just it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> it is so ridiculous. Seriously, go back and look at all of these guys' calls. Their stops, where their stops are, was where your limit should be. You got to get in. You get in there, you make money. If you fade these guys, you can buy a Porsche.